the the 80th year that's unbelievable and remarkable um yes. it's in the at the in the middle part end of part of july tell us about the event itself it started in 1938 it actually started on um, Highway 21 at the orchards out there um, is where it started. They crowned their first Queen Alberta. And, and then it it was always the tractors and the stuff that actually was in the braid that would bring the peaches and everything to town. It would start from the east end of town and run its way west through there. And uh, we skipped a few years. Um, because of World War II and then of COVID. So we would be in 83 years, but we're in our 80th year and we're happy to still be going. And we're the longest outdoor running festival in the state of Arkansas. And there are a lot of long running events that are so fun to watch for the kids because a lot of the age groups go from, you know, zero to 12 years old. And then there are some adult age things that you can do also. But, um, and we're going to have peaches this year, so that's super exciting. <laughs> what makes it, what what has made this last so long, do you think? Everything. I, get, I mean, the events and the okay. just the pageants, and that's a big part of it, too. Miss Arkansas is next week, and our girls are getting fired up for that. Miss Johnson County, which is also known as Queen Alberta, and you got the Arkansas Valley Outstanding Team and Miss Arkansas Valley also. And, um, and the Court Square, you know, it's been held at the Court Square for the past... 75 years I would say probably is where it's been held at and um and I appreciate them letting us have it downtown uh, and showing the beauty of our town too of how we've grown it seems the atmosphere just seems to bring people back a lot it does and I think the the uh, craft events uh, the craft fair and the um food trucks have a lot to do with it too and me finding those perfect people to fit everything and uh Got a lot of new food trucks this year. I can't wait to try them. <laughs> Alex, we'll talk to you in a second about events that'll be going on or entertainment that'll be going on uh, those three days. But Casey, I want to talk about this thing that started 15 years ago, Johnson County Idol. Explain what that is. What it is, is basically um, when I came here, I moved from Colorado to here uh, in 2008. And I first started at the Johnson County Fair and we were starting out, there was no talent show whatsoever. And I, was, I come from a big background of talent shows in Colorado. So I was like, you know, we have to have a talent show at this fair. I uh, eventually moved over to the Peach Festival and uh, we've been going 15 years strong. We started out, Johnson County, Idaho was, it doesn't have to be where the residents are from Johnson County just because it's named that it was named because that's where i provided it for and it, it started out a singing competition and later on came into an all-around talent and we're excited this year i've had people blowing up my phone ready to be in this competition i have wonderful sponsors that sponsor me and have sponsored me from day one melissa is one of them and uh you know the sponsorship is what pays for the prize money and i can't i i can't explain it enough how appreciative i am of our sponsors our money for the we have four age groups now because it got so big i had to divide up the adults as well so we have 1 to 12 13 to 17 18 to 29 and 30 and up and those those winners, they get first place, gets a recording studio time. They get $500 cash. I mean, it's a big deal. And it's all because of my sponsors. And I tear it down first, second, and third. And, uh, you know, we're going strong this year. I'm excited to, to say that it is the 15th year and that it's going strong. You have tryouts, though, in Lamar on, on June 25th. And then the finals are midway through the, the festival itself. Is that right? June 25th, we'll have the tryouts at the Lamar City Hall in Lamar. And, you know, the audition fee is $20 and they can uh, they can apply as many times as they want. It's uh, up to two talents that they can bring into their age group. And then we will have the finals July 21st on the big, huge stage here in Peach Festival. And with all of our sponsors displayed in the background to show our appreciation. Alex, talk about the other events going on uh, entertainment-wise on uh, on those three days, June or July 20th through the 23rd. It's just more than, you know, arts and crafts. There's going to be some live entertainment there. Oh, absolutely. Well, like she said, we'll start out on the 21st with the Johnson County Idol. That'll be Thursday evening. 
that's that's a full evening of all kinds of talent. You know, like she said, it started as a singing competition. Now we have a little bit of everything. Um, Friday, we will have, uh, let's see, who's Friday? We have Jason, Jason Campbell and them boys. Uh, they'll be entertaining for us. They start at eight. We're still looking to possibly maybe add another band or uh, some sort of entertainment before them. Um, so there may be a surprise. We don't know. Um, but we'll have Jason Campbell and them boys featuring Jocko Deal on Thursday. Uh, Friday, we're going to have two bands. We've got some really good friends of mine, Sons of Turner, that are going to be here uh, early afternoon. I believe they're going to start about five. And then we will break for the parade. That's always a huge, mm -hmm. huge deal. Uh, the parade will be at seven. And there's going to be some surprises at the end of the parade, too. So you definitely want to stick around. There may, may or not, may not be some flash mobbing going around. So <laughs> definitely, definitely come out for that. And then right after that, um, we're going to Funk Factory, who is a really awesome band. They're a nine piece band. Uh, they have brass. They have it's, it's a really cool band, especially for the 80th. They're, they're going to fit in well. Um, they've actually been to Clarksville before. Everybody loved them. Um, and so we're excited to have them back. I've seen them and they are a wonderful band to listen to. That's amazing. Um, and that is, you know, having that kind of entertainment really is uh, uh, another aspect of why this has been so popular over the years. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, people bring their lawn chairs and it, it's great. They can they can come out during the day. They can walk around, see all the vendors. Uh, go get your funnel cake and your barbecue, all the good stuff. And then when the sun goes down, it starts to cool off, set up your lawn chair and, and enjoy some of these bands. A lot of them are really local. They're people that we know um, and, and they put on a great show. Mm -hmm. there, there's no better way to, to end the festival day. And Melissa, just to wrap it up, what does this do for the city of Clarksville and for that matter, Johnson County, do you think? It brings a lot of people here to um, stay in our hotels, eat at our restaurants, the um, and spend money. That's what we're open. It brings a lot of people. The website is jocopeachfest.com is our website. And I know that I also know or have seen uh, on the Facebook page, Johnson County Peach Festival, uh, you have all this information on your Facebook page as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We sure do. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Well, I appreciate you joining me. Um, best of luck with this. It sounds like it's a great time. You can't have, you can't not have a good time, especially after 80 years of doing this. Uh, but thanks for joining us.